What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and <laughs> let me just say man, sometimes I see some guys doing these things on today's list and it, it, it's just embarrassing. It's not good. It's not a good look. All right, so I have a list of five things that men need to stop doing right now. So if you're doing these, you have to quit it. All right, and before we get into it, let me just say if you're new here, hi, welcome. On this channel, we talk about men's fashion, hair, grooming, fitness, dating advice, and so much more. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button below. Don't be shy, join the community of guys here of over 3 million guys by the way, who are here learning with us every single day. The first thing on today's list though, is something that I see happening way too much in today's world. And it's embarrassing, it really is. And that is thirsty behavior online. If you're doing this, you need to stop right now. If you're following dozens of hot girls on Instagram, if you're liking their photos every time they post, you're the first one to like their photos and you've never even met them before. Look, let me tell you right now, there is no reason to be following all of those girls on Instagram on Twitter, on whatever else, even some paid apps that we're not gonna get into here. But why are you doing that if you don't know them, if you're not gonna get anything out of it, it just makes you look bad. Look, if you're following your friends, you know, and she happens to be hot and you're hyping her up, that, that's fine, that's completely fine, great behavior, keep it going. But if you don't know her, if you're not even gonna try to reach out and shoot your shot, if you're just gonna like her photos and comment, you know, fire emojis and say she looks so hot all the time, that's thirsty behavior and that needs to stop. Don't be what they call a simp nowadays, all right? Guys, the reality is you have to respect and know your worth. What are you worth? Stop it. Next up, this is something that you need to stop doing right this second and that is thinking that you don't deserve better. Thinking that you don't deserve a better job, a better partner, a better friend, a better body, a better life. You deserve now, it. Now that doesn't mean let go of your friends, let go of your job, of your partner and go find someone else. That means you deserve somebody who's really good. That just means you deserve somebody who is going to be good to you, who is going to respect you. You deserve the body that you're going to be proud of, but you have to work for right. it. So stop thinking that, you know what? I'm not gonna work out today because I don't even deserve that body. I'm never gonna get there. I'm never gonna have good friends. I'm never gonna have a good life. I'm never gonna have an amazing romantic partner. So I'm just not gonna do anything. That's really bad. That's negative thinking that's never gonna get you anywhere. So stop thinking that you don't deserve it go out there and get speaking it speaking of deserving a better body stop making excuses for not working out like you don't deserve a better body like you work too much so you don't have time like the gym is too far or too expensive like you don't know what to do with the gym so you're just not gonna go those are all terrible excuses hit the gym man get in there work out if you don't have the money to join a gym there's no need go outside go for a jog Get some band workouts at home. Get really good sleep, eat well. Get in shape, guys. Let's all look amazing this summer. This whole community here on this YouTube channel, let's get together and let's get in amazing shape this summer. And our sponsor today, Whoop, is definitely going to help you get there. Let me tell you, man, this has been one of my favorite products over the past year that I've discovered. And I'm so happy that I'm able to work with them here on the channel. I literally wear 24 seven, if not around my wrist, then I use this uh, biceps band here around my biceps and then I wear a watch so people can't even see it. And for you guys that don't know, Whoop is a fitness tracker that is going to track everything that you do during the day and at night. That's why I keep it on 24 seven. So during the day, it's gonna track how many calories I burn. It's gonna track my resting heart rate. It's going to track my workouts and tell me exactly how much strain I put into my body while I worked out. So it really gives me a great idea of how much strain my body went through during the day. And then at night, it's going to tell me exactly how much recovery I need based on the strain that happened during the day. So it's perfect. It's like having a personal coach with me at all times. And the sleep features are so, so good. It tells me exactly how many times and when I woke up at night. It tells me how many hours of deep sleep, REM sleep, light sleep I got. It's incredibly accurate when it comes to your sleeping patterns. But besides all of those amazing features, one of my favorites has to be the community aspect of this. So I have a team, I have a group, you guys can join it. Yeah, I'm gonna list it below. You join the group and you can see exactly, you know, how my day is going, my workouts, you can kind of compare yourself. And have some friendly competition with everyone else in this group, in the Alex Costa team. And you can join a bunch of other teams, weightlifters, 
uh, biking teams, crossfitters, there's so many different teams. And it's that extra push that makes me work out harder because I know you guys are gonna see it. Makes me sleep really well because I know I, need, I should go to bed early because I need to set a good example for you guys. So the Whoop is an amazing fitness tracker. And the best part is because you guys are subscribers here, then you can get it for free. Right, so you get the device itself for free. You only pay for the subscription system. Click the first link below, join my team, and I'll see you guys there. Now guys, this next one is something that I did when I was about 22, 23. And I just wanna go over the importance of this. One of the things that you need to stop doing right now is stop avoiding the big move. Stop avoiding a move if you hate where you live. Life is just too short for you not to take those chances. Sometimes you have to take some risks and you know what, sometimes they'll pay off, sometimes they won't, but if you don't try it, if you don't risk it, you're never going to find out. If you don't risk anything in life, you're never gonna get a return. You're never going to get a payout. You're never gonna get there. There is no return if you don't take a risk. That's just how it works. Usually, high risk, high reward, right? So moving to a different city, that is, that's high risk, but it's high reward. You get to make new friends, you get to find a new job, a career, in the path that you've always wanted to take. You get to enjoy a new place, a completely new atmosphere, location. You get to learn so much more about the culture of that location, whether it's a different country or a different city, or even just a different neighborhood. Whatever a big move means to you, because we'll all interpret that differently, and it doesn't matter. For me, I moved from Brazil to the US. That was the biggest move of my life, but then at 22, on my own, I decided to move to Los Angeles from Massachusetts. And that was a tough move. There was a lot at risk for me because I moved out here, I didn't know anybody. I had never been in LA before. I moved out here with two suitcases and that was it. That, that's it. I didn't know a single person here. I didn't even know where I was gonna sleep that night. I had no idea. I stayed in a hotel for a couple weeks and then I found a place. It was risky, but you know what? It paid off. So if you're thinking about moving, if you don't like where you live right now, I highly recommend you start actually putting things together, making your plan, and move. Just get it done, just go over there. Even if it's for a few months, tell yourself, you know what, I'm gonna go for six months. If it doesn't work out, I'll come back. If it works out, amazing, I'll stay. Stop avoiding that move if you hate where you live. Life is just too short. This next one is something that, I don't even know how else to say it, it pisses me off. It pisses me off to, to see people doing this nowadays. If I hear this, I lose all respect for a man if he says that I am driving with just a buzz. Just a buzz. I just had a couple drinks. I just had three drinks. I'm a little, a little buzzed. I'm just gonna drive home. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Nowadays there's ride sharing apps, right? There's cabs. There's, bu there's public transportation in general that you can find pretty much anywhere in the world. It's such a horrible idea. Terrible idea for you to drive with a buzz if you've had a few drinks, all right? so. Whenever you're thinking about getting behind that wheel and you've had a few drinks, man, just think about all of the consequences that could come. You could hit someone and kill a whole family. You could literally drive into a pole and who knows who's gonna be with you in the car. You know, it, it, it's just not good. It is not a good move, guys. This is serious stuff, man. I've, I've seen it happen, you know, with, with people around me. And it is, it, you lose respect for those people because it is so irresponsible. Please, please, please keep that in mind. Something that a man should never ever do is drive with just a buzz. I'm just, I just had a few drinks. I'm good, just a few beers. No, 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 no. Still gonna get a DUI, still gonna get in trouble, might put other people at risk. That is a no-go zone. All right. Guys, make sure to check out the Whoop. It is listed in the description below. I'm telling you, like I said, one of my favorite brands that I've discovered over the past year. Absolutely love them. They've been doing such an amazing job. They have podcasts, they have a bunch of content. Their blog is amazing. If you wanna learn about your body, if you wanna learn about health, definitely check out Whoop and join my team. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you learned something new and then you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I post there every single day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace.